I'm using the front camera real quick because I'm driving for a moment. So y'all gonna have to deal with the effects of the front camera. I think it's funny how, like this ain't trying to be hateful or nothing like that, but I think it's funny how the LGBT people and you know, all the gay rights crap going on, I don't support it because I'm a Christian, you know, I don't support that, but you know, I'm gonna be nice to you, I'll be friends with you, but I ain't gonna support it. Anyways, what I think is hilarious is they would talk about equality. They want everything to be equal. Equal rights. It's all about love and equal rights. But you say one thing bad about their thing, about the LGBT crap, you say one thing bad about it, and they go on a, they go on a rampage and start cussing you out and yelling at you. But it's got to be equal. But it's got to be equal rights. I, I saw a report, I don't know if, how true it is exactly, but I saw a report about them having an LGBT... Like, okay, if it's supposed to be equal rights for everybody, then why is it that you're throwing a fit when some like, you have your gay pride month? But yet, you're going to throw your fit like a little kid if someone wants to have a straight pride month. But it's equal rights. It's got to be equal rights for everybody. But you're going to be pissed because somebody wants to have a straight pride month, but you got your gay pride month. So, it, so it's equal rights, so y'all can have y'all's gay pride month. But it's not equal rights for people to have a straight pride month. Another thing I think is retarded is like that crap going on. I know I'm a little late on this because everyone's done on, jumped on the high 80s for it. But the girl that licked the ice cream, it actually happened in my home state of Texas. Um, they thought it was in uh, San Antonio, then they said it was in Lufkin. But they said the girl is from San Antonio. She just has... Uh, she just has, uh, I think as they said, it's her boyfriend's family that's in Lufkin, something like that. So she does have ties to Lufkin. But they're not going to release her name because she's a minor. She's under the age of 18. But yet all these people are going to talk about how stupid it is that she did that. It's so stupid that she did that. But yeah, you're going to make your little mockery videos of mouthwash and yogurt and who knows what else, you know. It's stupid that she did that. But it's okay for y'all to go make your little mockery video of it, I guess. You know, so how stupid y'all can be. Oh, does that act like her? Oh, let me get famous on the internet. Let me act like a retard. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't say retard no more. It's offensive. Because of all the daggum snowflakes out there. Snowflakes are burning society, man. There's a lot of stuff I used to do as a kid. Or as an adult, even. Stuff I did that's perfectly normal. But you can't do it nowadays because freaking snowflakes. You know, you gotta keep them from being offended. Just like the gay rock people. You gotta keep them from being offended because, you know, it's all about straight. You know what I mean? It's all about them. They wanna have equal rights. As long as you don't make them mad or wanna have something to do against their thing. If you know what they're look like, I know some people that are gay, but because they're not, they can't be part of the LGBT movement because they don't fit their criteria. They don't fit their little rules and regulations. Even though they're gay, they don't fit in. Because <coughs> they don't meet the criteria that's required to be in the LGBT. See how retarded that is? Of course, like I said, I believe in God. I read the Bible. and I don't support that. I mean, I'll be your friend. You know, it goes the same way for Christians, though, in a way. We can be, you know, you can not support gay rights and still be friendly to the people. Just because, you know, just because you don't support their lifestyle doesn't mean you just sell them nothing but hate and mockery and all that. Because, you know, they already mocked Jesus himself. You know, they do those little skits of mockery of him on the cross and yada yada. So, are we going to show them love of Christ and help, you know, save their soul? Are we going to stoop to their level and mock them like they're mocking us? And it just becomes a game going back and forth from there. That's just how I see it. If you slip to their level and you mock them, they're going to mock you again. And you'll have to mock them again. It's just back and forth and back and forth from then on. You know, it's an ever-ending cycle. But, when you're a Christian, you can't do that. I mean, well, you can, because we have free will, so you can if you want to, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to sound the love of Christ. And if they don't accept the love of Christ, they get pissed off at you, push them away, well, that's their problem. They're the ones that choose to send themselves to hell. No good riddance. Don't feel bad for them. Don't feel sorry. <coughs> that guy. Hang on. <coughs> ah! Dag on throat. Don't feel sorry for some what the heck is moving back here? Don't feel sorry for somebody who chooses to send themselves to hell. If you do your job, you witness to them, and you show them the love of Christ and all that, and they're the ones that choose to send themselves to hell, 
by mocking you or, you know, whatever. Don't feel bad for them. They are the ones that rejected Christ. They are the ones sending themselves to hell, not you. You're not saying, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're not doing it. They're sending their souls to hell. Because they're the ones that decided not to accept Christ. They're the ones that accepted not to live the way you need to. Of course, that's in every situation, though. Of course, I got some people... I, you know, another thing about Christians is... We're, we're supposed to stay ready for the rapture. I mean, I know it didn't say rapture in the Bible. It just says we'll be called into the clouds. And the dead Christ shall rise first. And us who are living on earth will be called into the clouds, clouds to join them. thing is... A lot of Christians out there have forgotten that we're not of this world. Because I've seen a lot of Christians out there that are like, Well, I hope the rapture doesn't come by now because i got to do this. Oh, the rapture can't come before this because i got to get this done. We are not of this world, so why are you worried about what's happening in this world before Christ ever comes? You know, it's like you're putting more hope in that than you make in heaven. You're putting more hope in the worldly things than you, you know, making it to Christ because he can't come right now because you have to get this done. Or he can't come right now because you got to do this thing. And there's a lot of people out there like, well, I'm scared of this. I'm scared of that. If you're scared of something going on like the rapture or something like that, you need to look where your walk is with Christ. You really need to reevaluate where you stand with Christ if you're scared of him coming back. If you're scared of the rapture or scared of anything to do with that, you need to check yourself see where you're at with Christ. Because anyone who's truly with Jesus, you're not going to be scared. Anytime you see a, a prophecy come true, like I've seen people like, I'm so scared the prophecy just happened. Why be scared? That's one step closer to us going home. That's one step closer to us leaving this world behind and going home where we belong. I'll be scared. Crap, I'm going the wrong way. But, take it as you want it. You know, I just get this little thing in here once while and I gotta do this. Ooh, I get to park closer today. Yay! Like I'm telling you though, it's one of those things like, I've seen people do that. Like, I'm so scared of this happening. I'm so scared of this. I'm like, okay, if you're scared of it, then where are you staying with Christ? Because you know that we're gonna be okay. Another thing too, we know we can't take our possessions with us. We cannot take our worldly things with us, so... I mean, I've done it before. I'm guilty of it. I've said the same thing before, but... In, in all reality... Why are we even concentrating on, like... Oh, I hope that my mansion in heaven has this. I hope my mansion in heaven has this. We're not taking the worldly things with us. So a lot of stuff that you wish you could have... Is not going to be there. I mean, I could be wrong. You could go to heaven and have everything you want. I could be wrong. But, we're not taking these worldly things with us. So, there's no point in even hoping some of it's going to be there. And if you're only going to go to heaven for that, then you're, going for, you're not going to make it because you're trying to go for the wrong reasons. Anyways, that's all I want to say for now. I'm not going to ramble on too much. That's all I want to say about that. So, until next time, y'all, I'll be back.